Hey guys, welcome to another fragrance review. Today I'm going to be looking at the House of Ensar Oud and I'm looking at one of their Oud oils and this one is called Oud Dul Q. So this is a oil from two different regions, uh, the region of Cambodia, uh, Cambodia sorry, and the region of Thailand. So a mix of two regions was uh, used to create this Oud oil. So what does Oud Dul Q smell like? For me, Oudul Q, when you first apply it onto your skin, you're hit with some intensely dark notes. It's so dark in the opening, it's smoky, it's very incense heavy, with a very gentle earthy earthiness in the background. The opening is dark, like I've said, it's smoky. And for me, it conjures up this image of uh, uh, coal which is burning and someone's just poured water all over it and the water's made the coal give off some... Uh, smoke that's the sort of feel that I get it's a very you hit with some smoky darkness in the opening as the fragrance develops onto your skin it starts becoming smoother a lot more smoother than it was in the opening and that really thick incense blast that you get in the opening is a lot more mellowed out and into the heart you start picking up a gentle chocolatey sweetness as well as the fragrance dries down onto my skin the, the scent then smells like these beautiful, high quality, fragrant woods which are being burnt. Now, in the opening, it feels like incense, it's smoky incense, but in the dry down, the smoky aspect that you get, the feeling that I get is really high quality woods which are being burnt. There's like a rosewood in the dry down as well. There's a touch of resinous sweetness as well. So the resinous aspect of the scent gives it in the dry down for me a, a little bit of warmth to the scent because the opening a majority of the heart of this scent it's a very deep and dark rich scent and the resonant aspects that I pick up in the dry down helps to give it, this scent a little bit of warmth and the resonance aspect maybe is contributing for me the feeling of these really high quality woods being burnt rather than the incense that I was getting in the opening so, so yeah, overall Oud Dol Q is a Oud oil which is very dark, it's very rich, it's very deep. Um, just imagine really high quality woods being burned, that's the sort of feeling that you get. But there's also some sweetness as well, coming from like a, a dark chocolatey accord. It doesn't smell like a chocolate itself, but it gives it a sweetness that you sort of get from a dark chocolate. There's some resinous sort of feel and there's in the open there's a touch of earthiness as well. So Oud Dul Q, it, uh, it was from two different regions, it was from Cambodia and Thailand and stereotypically uh, Cambodia Oud is known for being quite fruity, uh, having some floral, some sweetness. Uh, I've only tried one Thailand Oud and that's Ensar Oud's Oud Yusuf and that one is a, an Oud oil which has like a uh, ripe mango sort of feel and it's very very sweet. However, Oud Dul Q has no sweetness in this scent. There's no sweetness, there's no fruity aspect, there's no floral notes. This is just like a, a dark, smoky, uh, fragrant woods being burnt. That's the sort of feel that you get in incense heavy Oud. Now, a lot of Oud, uh, for people out there, they feel that Oud has this stereotypical sort of smell that it has like a barnyard smell. It smells like hay, it smells a bit fecal, a bit skanky. Oud Dul Q has no skankiness for me. It has no funkiness, no animalic sort of feel. Uh, there's no, absolutely no barnyard. There's no unpleasant notes in this. As an oud oil, if someone was to apply this onto my skin and I didn't know that it was oud, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it was oud because it doesn't have the stereotypical feel that you, that stereotypical smell that you associate with oud, or you wrongly associate with oud because you haven't explored oud as extensively. And you, the only knowledge you have of oud is basically trying a few oud oils and maybe trying oud in Western perfumery or Middle Eastern perfumery. But this oud really opened up my mind of uh, how artistically some artisan oud distillers can use the woods and create the oud wood and just create an oil which is just absolutely mind blowing in my opinion. This doesn't have the, like I've said, the stereotypical smell of oud. But even so, applying this and just smelling it, 
just how, how high quality the smell feels like. The high quality woods, the smokiness, the ambery uh, resinous sweetness in the dry down which gives it a bit of warmth. I absolutely really enjoyed wearing this. Every time I wore it, it this oud just takes you to another place. It, it gives a really calming sort of feel, even though it's a deep and dark rich fragrance. It was a joy to wear. I love the complexities in this oud oil. For me, in terms of performance, this was uh, in the moderate range in terms of projection. It doesn't scream off your skin, but you have a really moderate scent cloud around. You can constantly smell it on yourself. And on my skin, it lasted around eight to 10 hours. In terms of sillage, this was excellent. Whenever I walked past people, there were uh, notices. So it does uh, push off your skin when you're walking past. In, in terms of uh, occasions, I think, as with all oud oils, with this being quite a deep, dark scent, um, even though this doesn't have any unpleasant sort of notes, I think this is best suited for your own enjoyment. Uh, I guess uh, if you were to pick it in occasions, I would say that this is probably suited to a formal occasion, but really for me, I would only save this uh, to wear when you're maybe at home by yourself and you're maybe you're doing some important work, working from home or something, and you want to be in quite a relaxed state, maybe you're spending uh, time at home reading a book or something like that, and you want a nice relaxing scent. For me, I would pick Oudul Q. And for me, due to the, the burning sort of wood that I get from this scent, the smokiness, the gentle earthiness, I think this is a scent which is perfect for the fall or the autumn. Overall rating for me from Ansar Oud, Oudul Q, it's going to be a high score of 4.5 out of 5. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, then please do make sure to leave a like and a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Until next time, my friends, see you later.